As part of efforts to find a lasting solution to ethnic challenges facing Nigeria ahead of the 2023 general elections, a civil society organization under the auspices of Youths Off the Street Initiative in an inter-ethnic peace dialogue themed restructuring and 2023 power shift has called on Nigerians at large to address the country's drift towards conflagration and possible forceful disintegration. The inter-ethnic peace dialogue held in Abuja on Monday the 31st of May 2021 had in attendance leaders of ethnic nationalities drawn from the country's six geopolitical zones and represented through their apex social cultural organization comprising of the Arawa Causal Tete Forum, the Afenifera Group, Ohani Zendibu, Northern Elders Forum, the Middle Belt Forum, the Pan Nauja Delta Forum, amongst others. But the reason we brought us together here is to make one last effort before we get to a point of no return. There must be a national committee, and that's what we want to come up with here, so that we can overthrow a system, a system that has been entrenched to, 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 to actually make us a people without direction. The system under which we operate is not working until we have an egalitarian society that offers equal rights, opportunities, privileges, and any kinds of social welfare to all citizens. The peace dialogue aimed at addressing the agitations of ethnic groups clamoring for either secession or restructuring of the country also seeks to promote and sustain Nigeria's unity, peace, and social justice. The Pan Yoruba Social Cultural Group, Afenifera, led by Pa Aya Debanjo, present at the event, stressed that the body stands against secession or self determination, but will continue to insist on restructuring and the need for a new constitution as opposed to the agitations of self acclaimed Yoruba freedom fighter, Sandy Buhu. Let me state here loud and clear that Afenifera does not believe this or support secession. And we owe no apology for being the chief advocate for restructuring Nigeria to federalism. Let the opponents of restructuring and cohorts of the federal government stop the blackmail of labeling advocates of restructuring as secessionists. Advocates of restructuring are federalists, not secessionists. So we are calling on all those who are supporting President Muhammad Buhari to persuade him to let us change the constitution to what we call our own constitution, a constitution that prescribes genuine and true federalism that arise in the structure of Nigeria. If this is done, his name will be written in gold. The Igbo Social Cultural Group, Ohane Zendibo, on the other hand, through its leader, George Obiozo, insisted a statement asserting that Nigeria's unity is non-negotiable with all but fallacy, as the country, over time, has been sustained through negotiations and as such, if a lasting solution must be achieved, Nigeria's unity has to be negotiated. People have been preaching Nigerian unity. Nigerian unity is non-negotiable. What a historical fallacy. Yes, yes, yes. Exhibition of the world. Yes. The The idea of rotation from north and south is a historical impact. It is what is it non negotiable and not Nigerian unity. Okay. Nigerian unity came about through negotiation. In fact, I've been staying, staying alive through negotiation. It is indeed a sign of total abandonment, of acknowledgement of history to assert authoritatively with impudence and impudence, impudence that Nigerian unity is non negotiable. My brothers and sisters, all fellow Nigerians, call for self determination is not secession. The Northern region, represented by the president of the Northern Consensus Movement, Dr. Awal Abdullahi Aliyu, however, noted that the Northern region is equally ready for a breakaway from Nigeria 
as the region has equally suffered its fair share of injustice. I am not in government, so I don't speak for the government, I speak for North. I don't speak for Buhari. If Buhari is doing something wrong, Nigeria should call his attention that what he's doing is wrong, he should correct it. He's a Nigerian, he's a leader, he, he's elected by every Nigerian. The North before now is saying we don't believe in separation. But as I'm standing, I'm telling you that if there's going to be separation tomorrow, the North is ready for it. We are also ready. Let's go our either ways. I'm, and I'm telling you this with all sincerity. Northern Nigeria before now do not want to hear anything separation. But as of today, as I speak to you, the North is equally ready to leave. We have a political system that uh, where corruption, you know, festers. Corruption grows. Uh, a few people, a clique of people, earn a lot of money, resources, while the poor, yes, while the ordinary man languages in poverty. Other dignitaries at the event include former presidential candidate, professor of political economy, and management expert, Pat Utomi, who shed light on some of the challenges confronting Nigeria today. The bottom line is that we lost the direction of leadership because we made politics a place that you can make money. And restructuring is about getting money out of politics. Anybody who wants to serve and give sacrificially of himself to elevate the life of others should come into politics. Anybody who wants to become somebody because of politics should get out of it. This is what has brought us to this sorry pass. If it were not that problem, people are playing on ethnic sentiments to use to abuse the treasury. With deliberations as this, it is therefore expected that the heightened tension and anxiety hinge on the resilient clamor by some ethnic nationalities for self-determination and secession resulting from perceived marginalization and further compounded by the country's present worrisome security challenges is addressed and a long-lasting solution preferred. The recent appointment of our chief of our minister has gone where they all go and makes matters worse. It is time for all of us to together plead with God to touch the hand of the heart of Buhari. <laughs> the hearts of kings are in the hands of God. Oh, yes. Let's pray God to touch the hand, the heart of Buhari. Make him wake up and show care and concern for the welfare of Nigerians. As of now, it's a matter of impunity, don't care, ETC. Huh? This is not the Nigeria we know.